So you want to add that stylish NeoFetch header in your term box, right? Stick around and I got you covered. So hey what's up amazing people, it's Saad Maksud here and today we are diving deep into Termox customization with NeoFetch. Now before we jump in, if you haven't caught my last video where we installed Termox style theme, I would highly recommend checking that out first, trust me it's worth it and you will find the link right at the top of the description. So let's start the video. The first thing that we will do is install NeoFetch in Termox and to do that we will type pkg install neo fetch press enter and neo fetch will be installed in few seconds so the installation is done and let's verify if neo fetch is working properly or not and to do that we will just type neo fetch that's it zoom out a bit and boom here we see android logo as well as our system information it includes os host kernel uptime packages shell cpu memory if you want to know what are the customization flexibility you have with neofetch you can just type neofetch dash dash help and you will see all the commands that it has to offer so type neofetch dash dash help and here we have everything about this neofetch command so what are the customizations that we can do when you will type neofetch it will show you the android logo because you are using an android phone but you can use some flags to print any distro logo you want for example type neofetch dash dash ascii underscore distro space and you can type any distro name you want so let's go with ubuntu press enter and here we see the android logo is changed with ubuntu logo and you can change this to any distro name you want and if you don't know any distro name then you can still type help and scroll a bit find this text and here you have all the distro that it has to offer just type the command neofetch ascii underscore distro ubuntu and i can type kali and it will show me the kali linux logo but since this distro logo takes a lot of space on the screen, I don't use the logo part of NeoFetch in my Termox header. And here is how you can do it too. Type NeoFetch dash dash off, press enter. And now you won't see the distro logo and NeoFetch will only show you the system information. So this is looking fine and this is what we are going to add in our header. And to do that, we need to edit the bash.bashrc file because this file loads as soon as we open our termux. So let's just type ls and cd dot dot ls and we have to get inside this user then etc folder ls and here we will find this bash.bashrc file. So let's edit it by typing nano bash dot bash rc autocorrect enter go to the last line and let's remove my name okay and let's keep this clear command there if you don't have clear command in your bash rc file in the last line you need to add it before you proceed after the clear command we just have to type neo fetch dash dash off control s to save control x to exit and control D to exit out from Termux. Open Termux again and boom. You will see this beautiful Termux header every time you open your Termux and you can use your Termux normally. We can also change the theme again by typing Termux style. Press enter. Zoom a little bit out. Let's select the random theme, press enter, we have this retro theme, I don't like it, R, enter, this is ok, control D, and yeah, so, so after adding this neo fetch header, the termux feels more complete and in control. So this was a simple video on how you can add NeoFetch in Termox. 
If you want to know more about NeoFetch, I have covered it in my Termux Beginner Ethical Hacking course. Link is in the description. Go check that out. And if you want to add Termux helper tool in your Termux shell so you can find commands for any tools in 10 seconds, then you should watch the video that is getting suggested on your screen. So stay ethical and I will see you in that video.